all buzzy and chatty. Um, thanks very much for coming out in your mornings and to spending to spend a little bit of time with me and uh, with my colleagues. Here. Uh, we are representatives of the Australian Government. I'm the Senior Trade Investment Commissioner. I'm working with the Australian Trade Investment Commission. I'm based in Mumbai, um, but I've been travelling around this last couple of weeks talking about uh, an event that will be run, that has already begun, um, running across India, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, um, called the Study Australia Showcase. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about that. It's a very exciting program for us. Um, and it's a little bit different than what we've done in the past in engaging with India. So um, this, uh, the program has already begun. It began in Monday, uh, Monday in uh, Chandigarh. Yesterday we saw a number of students, um, their families and counsellors attending, a, a large number attending in Delhi. And the program will com commence um, further to Ahmedabad tomorrow than Hyderabad. Bangalore, uh, Chennai here on the uh, 12th of September and then across to Sri Lanka for Colombo and then Bangladesh for Dhaka. The, we're very excited about this program. It's bringing together uh, 26 of Australia's universities. It's bringing together all of our states and territory governments as well as the involved um, federal government departments. So the Department of Education, Department of Home Affairs, and the Australian Trade Investment Commission will all be available um, together under one roof to meet with students and other interested people to learn about uh, what Australia education has to offer. Um, the, I have been talking um, in preparation for these meetings about um, the importance for Australia of presenting our education system to India. Now there's no doubt that the relationship between India and Australia is very, very strong at the moment and in education. This has been very, very clear in the relationship that we've established through our Ministers for Education who are meeting regularly um, and doing very progressive work. So the earlier this year, um, agreeing on the mutual qualification recognition mechanism is a really big deal. Uh, it recognises that Australia and India have respect for each other's systems, want to work together more and want to see more mobility for students and qualifications across our national borders. Um, at the same time, too, you can see at the central level, we had two uh, Australian universities approved for establishment within Gift City. Um, so having Deakin University announced first and then the University of Wollongong, these two institutions will be the first ever formally recognised uh, uh, foreign campuses in India. So you can really see that the collaboration between our education systems here has been one that's very, very strong um, and something we're very proud of. I talk about the Australian education system uh, as a whole, and that's one of the things that we're presenting through the Study Australia Showcase. You will be familiar with many of our institutions, you'll be familiar with the kinds of qualifications we have and the great student experience that you'll hear um, graduates talk about. But what I'm really um, hoping to demonstrate, what we're hoping to demonstrate as we go across India, um, as we go across India with this showcase, is the system of education in Australia. So Australia has a really robust education framework, so a qualification framework that's really been tied, tried and tested. We have regulations that support the universities to deliver really good quality, quality industry-engaged qualifications. We have the ESOS Act, which is a one-of-its-kind in the world act that protects the rights of international students. And it's on this base that we've really been able to develop a significant reputation in international education, where students around the world now are thinking of Australia first when they think about a high-quality um, education. Uh, outcome as well as an education experience. So I want to talk about the three things uh, I think and that are relevant here. The first is the Australian um, education providers, our universities. You might be surprised to know that we only have 43 universities in Australia. It's a small number. We're a pretty small place. We've only got around 26 million people. But So 43 is a very small number of universities. But of those 43, we have three in the top 20 in the world from the QS rankings this year, 24. Um, we have nine 
in the top 100, and all but a handful are in the top 500 in the world. It's a really extraordinary story, um, and it really demonstrates the impact of a system of education that lives all of our providers and holds all of our providers into a, a, a quality frame of mind and commits them to good quality outcomes. Part of that system is also about industry engagement. So we have qualifications then that are really meaningful to students um, and their outcomes in their future of work and the future of careers. So the qualifications that are offered across Australia are developed in collaboration with industry. They're designed to um, meet the needs of students uh, going into the workforce and they do this through very direct industry input into programs. It also gives students good opportunities to be able to um, have internships and spend time in industry while they're studying. Um, the third part, I think, is about the student experience. Um, the student experience in Australia is second to none. We get excellent results um, and excellent feedback uh, through all of the rankings about our students' experience. Um, it is about the education experience and the study program uh, in very good quality institutions, but it's also about the way that Australia engages international students. We are very, very keen, and Australian government and Australian universities are keen to from the time they start their study with us. And this includes working while they study. Universities will encourage students to work while they study up to 48 hours a week, uh, sorry, 48 hours a fortnight during term time and full time when they're not in, um, when they're not in class term. Um, but we also have um, really generous post-study work rights opportunities for students. And recently, just from the 1st of July, the Australian government released a list of courses, a very long list of courses that's available on the Department of Education website, mainly focused around STEM and health. A list of courses that feed into areas of Australia's skills demand and skills need. So the Australian government has recognised that we're selecting some of the best um, talent from around the world to study in some of the very best courses in the world, in Australia, and um, have recognised that those students are ones who could make a real contribution to Australia by staying on longer in Australia. So these courses attract an extra two years post-study work rights, and this means that a student in their undergraduate program might complete a program of study in one of these courses, have their you know, the usual two years, so every bachelor degree uh, attracts a two-year post-study work right period, and then have an additional two years. So a student from these courses would stay for four years in Australia, five years if they study in a regional area. For our doctoral students, that means a change of up to, um, of up to seven years in Australia in post-study work. And what, what this does, I think, is uh, give uh, give our international students and students from India in particular a view, a, a, an opportunity to be able to study in these um, great quality courses, to stay in Australia and work within their area of specialisation and to develop the global capability and competence they're going to need to take their careers around the world. So an Australian qualification, an Australian testimony is one that students will take globally. Uh, it has weight. It has credibility and employers know that for these students they will be prepared to hit the ground running. Part of the student experience in Australia too is just that Australia is a fabulous place to live. There is an amazing quality um, of life in Australia and in the latest rankings of the 24 um, best student city rankings, Melbourne is number four in the world and Sydney is number seven. And in some of the, uh, in some of the rankings, um, we are at second uh, for Melbourne, for example, 98.4% um, in the student voice and 98.6% um, for student mix. So students are reporting um, that they're having a fabulous experience. These two cities are just topping out um, in the rankings year after year after year. And while Australia will never sell itself as a cheap place to live or study, we do have incredible return on investment, both um, for students during their program of study and post-study work rights and afterwards. And Melbourne, for example, was ranked the most affordable city amongst the top 10, according to MERSA in 2024 too. 
So we really do have a fabulous experience for students. They come to a country that's warm, welcoming, that has a fabulously active, vibrant and successful Indian diaspora. So at the moment, about one in 25 people in Australia um, have, a Indian, uh, have an Indian heritage. So this means that many of the students are coming into communities where um, successful Indian people are living and engaging and able to assist students into great uh, successful um, opportunities for community and work engagement. Um, there's a fabulous study um, produced by the Department of Foreign, Affa Foreign Affairs and Trade a couple of years ago called India's Diaspora in Australia. And in this document, they show that this large, strong Indian diaspora in Australia is better qualified, younger, and earns better salary than the average Australian. So it's to this successful diaspora that Australian families are sending their, student, their children uh, to go study and connect. So we ran this roadshow last year, and it was a very different time a year ago. Um, a year ago, we were coming out of COVID. The number of students coming to Australia was very, very strong, particularly from India. In fact, during COVID, um, during COVID, about over 80% of students from India remained in Australia. They, they stayed in a place that was um, safe, uh, that was welcoming and supportive. And when the borders opened after two very long years, um, students who had been destined to Australia remained loyal. And we saw this very fast um, rebound in the student numbers to Australia as a result of that. I think also what we are seeing with the continued growth of students from India is we are growing now a generation of students who have been to Australia, had a fabulous experience, and we're now getting the, the, the word of mouth that's also um, leading to continued growth in students from this region. So a year ago, we were still in rebound phase, heading towards stability. In the last year, we've really consolidated Australia as a brand, uh, Australian education as something that's recognised in the round, not just one or two of our institutions, but as an education system and an education provider. This has been, as I mentioned before, really supported and made buoyant by um, great improvements uh, and recognition of our ranking, um, the success of our foreign campus establishment, and mutual recognition of qualifications, really bringing Australian education into the minds and hearts uh, of families all across India. And again, the India-Australia relationship with the formalisation of the uh, Australia-India Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement on the 29th of December last year, um, and now the ongoing negotiations, hopefully, to a full free, free trade agreement by the end of this year. So uh, we're back, the showcase is back. We're really encouraging students, their families to come and meet with um, direct representatives to meet with our state and territory governments and our government representatives um, to learn more about Australia and our fabulous education system. Um, and so we would encourage you, uh, please, to really um, provide a profile for this fabulous showcase. Now that's the end of my spiel and I am open to questions from anyone.